This is Antonio from informing.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate on how to create a kiosk solution using the XCAP all-in-one kiosk platform. So we will select a project and uh, make it active and then we will configure some default parameters such as the screen resolution to reflect your actual hardware in this case 1280 by 800 and we'll also make some global uh, settings uh, we will set the uh, are you there time to zero uh, which is appropriate for this example and we will pick the appropriate scheme that would make sense with the graphics that I had pre-organized for this example we'll also make adjustments on the placement of the menu uh, I know where the menu needs to be placed, again, uh, to uh, work well with the graphics that I've pre-organized for this example. So I'm setting the button uh, width and the button height and the gap between the buttons and the font size. Make those changes and save those changes. Then I'll adjust the directory name. I'll change the uh, name that will appear on the directory itself and I'll change the colors of the text and the background for that directory name bar and make save those changes. Then I'll set the uh, background images. I've pre-organized that content on a folder on my desktop, so I'll go to that folder and I'll select the background images and then select the appropriate images. And these two images that I'll select will alternate behind the main menu and the directory listings. Once those changes are completed, I'll set the images for the attract loop. Again, I've pre-organized these images. So I'll go to that folder and select those images and make these images be my attract loop. Once all four images are loaded, I will save and close. And then we can set the images for the map section. So again, I will select the appropriate images. And there, there isn't a limit here. You can add as many map images as you want. For this example, I will just add a few. And I can then save and close. And now that we've finished with the other configurations, we can start adding content to the directory. This example is a building directory. So the category list is listing the companies. So I will add a couple of companies here and set the location, which in this example is a suite number. And I can save each record as I go along. I can then add some information for that particular company. So this was BMO Financial and I'll pick the appropriate graphic. And then I'm going to add another example company and this is Yamaha and I'll set the suite number 1000 and again save the record and select the image that it will be displayed when the info button for this company is selected on the directory. So I've added my companies and now I will edit the item list, which in this example is the list of people. So I've picked a company, BMO Financial, and I'm adding people into that company. And in our configuration today, uh, we simply add the person's name and the suite number they are in. And in the actual working directory, when the listing is touched for that individual, the information associated to the company they belong to will be displayed. So I'm selecting a different company now, Yamaha, and adding one person in that, uh, in that company. And of course, to complete your directory, uh, you would add as many people as you want to each company. In some environments, it's simply find a company and not find the person. So that information is completed. And now just to adjust the main menu, 
The content that is displayed on the main menu is controlled by the custom services. In this example, we're simply going to add two new services and these services will be displaying a graphic. One will be the CPR clinic information and the other will be leasing information. So we will select the type of content and our, you know, our system can support uh, many types of content. But for today's quick example, we'll be adding two graphics. Also, you can control the captions that appear on the main, main menu buttons. So I'm changing it to find a company, find a person, maps, and the other two uh, we already typed in, which is CPR clinic and leasing. Once these are completed, um, we can add the content that will be displayed on those buttons. So for CPR, we're adding the CPR image and for leasing, the leasing image. For the first three items in the list, these are built-in services that were already selected, which is the category list and the item list and the map. Now that our content is configured, we want to preview this to ensure that the directory uh, is configured to our liking. So in preview mode, you're running the kiosk exactly as the end user would um, see the system. This is an, a trial version, so the trial uh, version uh, indicator is on the screen. Contact informing.com to uh, get a license key in order to remove that. So here we are in the company list. You can select uh, the info button for any company and then the related info will be displayed. You can also associate a, a URL to an info. In this case, for informing, we're showing the informing website. So going back to the top level and from the main menu, we're selecting a person. So here, when we select info for an individual, then the company's info that they belong to will be displayed. Also, when you're searching through a larger list, you may narrow down the list by selecting a letter from the keypad. Maps, you can select a map from the list. So if you had up uploaded more maps, there would be more maps in this list to be uh, selected by the end user. Once the user is satisfied and found their information, they can return to the main menu. Again, in this example, the CPR and the leasing demos or examples are simply graphics, but this could be flash or movies or uh, even a website. So there you are, a directory uh, created uh, in minutes. You can do this yourself and you can reappropriate any graphics that you have uh, from your website or from other marketing or promotional activities. Once you're happy with your preview, you can publish the content and prepare your directory to go into run mode or kiosk mode. Please contact us at informing.com for more information and thank you for watching.